music. <laughs> you do, you do have a big oh, that's ass. Fucking wild. Oh, dude, that's perfect. She's almost assault. Do you have a? Do you have another one? Ah. Uh. Beautiful setup. What do we have here, Pepe? So what do we have? What do we have here? Espérate. Ingredient station. Espérate. 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 Right. There we go. So go for it. Go. I don't even know what's going on. I'm just here for the so, vibes. For the vibes, huh? I was telling Dusko earlier, we're toasting to life, but we never toast. Mm. So we have to change that up a little bit. A problem that is going to be fixed right about now. Right about now. Right about now. We Pepe, said, we you know got? what? Let's change it. We're going to make a little Jamaica-based cocktail. Or a mocktail if you exclude the tequila. Okay. I love we're doing a mocktail. cocktail. No, we're doing a ah, cocktail. Okay, okay, I don't okay. know about that. So this is pretty much a Jamaica syrup. Mm -hmm. Hibiscus. Jamaica. Hibiscus. For Hibiscus. those who don't speak Spanish. Pretty much equal parts Jamaica, a cup of Jamaica to a cup of sugar to a cup of water. Put it to boil. Sim something easy. Something light. You got six ounces of lime juice. You got a little agave syrup, a little bit of tahini, and then a little garnish. If you want to make it look nice. It's not that complicated. It's not. It's, it's, really raw, it's not rocket science. It's and you super know, basic. And Pepe, we trust. <laughs> Don't trust. Uh, no, but, 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 but for Don't this, me. for this, for this. And Pepe, we trust. Pepe has great taste. Pepe knows what he's doing. Clearly. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. All right. But we're trying. Let's get into it. Show so, me what you got. 12 ounces of Jamaica. Go ahead and pour the lime juice in there. Oh, okay. You're going to do it. You're going to okay, do okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. You're gonna Stunning. mix. You're gonna mix eight ounces. Of eight tequila. ounces. That's just, about a cup. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of. Okay. We'll make it sixteen. Honestly, huh? You, you, just a little bit of tequila. 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 There it is. Eight ounces. I'll take a shot right now too. Right now. Okay. There it is. Super easy. I feel like easy. a scientist. Super easy, right? With all my beakers and stuff. Now, the base is pretty much done. Okay. You just gotta make your cup look nice. Go ahead and dip your cup into the uh, into the agave syrup. Okay. Can I do a little something like this? Of course. Or like this. What is the technique? I did that. You did this? I did that. Okay. Just do not have long. All right. Ago. All right. All right. You're the master in the kitchen right now. So. I don't know about right. the master, but take oh that, dip it into the tahini. Super easy. You know what I love is a tahini rim. Oh my God. Ah, <laughs> it's a little aesthetic. It's a little aesthetic. Beautiful. Wow. Oh. Like okay, the and then. And then you fill it up with ice. All right. Cameraman. We need a little ice. Magic hand. Magic, magic hand. hand. Magic hand. Magic hand. <laughs> You're gonna All go right. ahead and take your base, pour it about three quarters of the way. Okay. Should be good. Beautiful. Take your topo chico or any mineral water. Wow. You're gonna top it off. Wow. Do you hear that? It actually looks really good. <laughs> and then you're just gonna garnish it. There's some grapefruit or some lime. Up to I you. think I like a little grapefruit. Can I put both? Because I'm feeling like that. Oh. Look at that. And we'll do a little of this. And then we'll do a little bit of this. And you know what we need? What? I needed to drink myself, so. Ah, uh, God, I... Magic hand, magic, magic hand. hand. Oh, oh, no, magic I mean, hand. Setting and start. So what happens if someone drinks this? What do you mean? They have a fun time. Ah. They're toasting uh, to life. They're toasting, they're toasting to, to life, life. guys. They're toasting to life. It wouldn't be a toast life. to life if we didn't toast. You know what I need to do, though? You know what? what I need to do? What do we need to do? A toast to life means to buy us like a uh, stir. A little stir with a little, a little initial stir, on it. A little ATTL stir. Beautiful, stunning, and smart. Pepe, this is fantastic, Pepe. You spoon it the side of the cup. <laughs> you know what, I'll do actually wanna, do it. Do you want a grapefruit? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> You're a grapefruit kind of guy? Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay. Who knows? <laughs> Other magic hand. <laughs> he just wanted his hand in there. He just wanted his hand in there. And you're probably wondering, how did Jack Jack get taller yeah, than Pepe? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You know what? Magic head. I got nervous. I got Wingardium Leviosa. <sighs> Beautiful. Can you mix this one too? A little mix. And you know what? Can I give a disclaimer? So I it. tried a little drink of Pepe's right before this. Not this one particularly. Why? Why after? What do you mean? Why did you drink it after? No, I tried it before. He's trying to say. But le but let me but let me tell you something, that the drink that I drank the Pepe a few minutes ago, 
made me just as tall. <laughs> as Becca right now. Not punctual, so not but just as tall. <laughs> <laughs> You want to talk about it? <laughs> Cheers. A toast, toast to life. A toast. A toast. A toast. Spectacular. Give me 14 of these right now. <laughs> Let's go. Spectacular. In the valley? She's a valley girl. <laughs> I'm in, I'm, I live in the valley, but... She's one of those, oh my god. You know what? No, because... Oh my god. When people say oh valley oh girls, god. what do you guys refer to? I really don't know what valley you guys girl, are talking about. No, what is the valley girl? <laughs> Cause I'm from Stuck the valley. Stuck up ass. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can we, right. do, can we do the sick intro first? What? Can we do a sick intro first? We could do a sick intro. Oh, you're starting the recording. Everybody, everybody, everybody. It toast the life. <laughs> most authentic, most organic podcast out here, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I do want, I want to start off first. In games, we trust. In. <laughs> In RAF. Trust. I trust. In ASAP Rocky. We In trust. Shop Segura, I trust. <laughs> the thing Shout is, out we to all trust. the sponsors for this episode, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Don't forget, you can use code ATTL at checkout to save some coin. I don't have yeah. a code yet, but we're going to get a code. Don't so even worry about it. This episode 170, we're live streaming on TikTok. Oh. If you're listening to this, you missed out already. This has been on live. To our people that's on TikTok live, man. Put the rocket emoji on this because I just love it. But you guys are number one fans. Thank you for supporting us throughout this journey. We're at 493,000. Love Ooh. to see Damn. Okay, okay. But look, if you guys love Jack Jack on our team, just like we do, she has a shop. It's called Shop Segura. All your Western wear ladies, make sure you use code ATTL. She doesn't give us a dime for it, but it's cool, you know? <laughs> we need no, an yeah. affiliate code, I think, right? We need an affiliate code. I think code. the pod needs an affiliate code. You know what? I don't think the internet's ready for you guys oh, to be modeling. Us. We're at 494.2 now. Nice. Oh. oh. Yeah, the internet yeah. is ready. We're going to model soon. Yeah, but she has... The, the she internet has a, would break. She has a shop, a shop, online store. She does amazing content for it. So when we talk about... Creating content and doing content, she does it. And this is where, like, last episode, once we said that, we talked about creating your brand. Let people know you exist. Let people know how great you are, how amazing you are. The worst thing that could ever happen is no one buys you, no one shows up. That's the worst thing. You're not for everybody, but you are for certain people. And that's That's okay. right. Man, this is juicy. This is juicy. Oh, how juicy. You know I really like. How juicy I get really into it when we talk about, about these kind of uh, topics. What kind of topic? What kind so of topic? Here, here we, we were talking, we're we're gonna were talking about, about dates, right? We were talking about dates. And about dates? men and women. Okay. Right, about, you you left when we asked this on TikTok Live. <laughs> I know. I, I, I and I missed part of the question. Okay. But. Okay. What is one place in particular that a guy should never take you on a first date? His place. Uh, try Do it. not take her to your place. What if he's cooking for you? What if he's making steak? No, first? Making, no. What if he has like a whole spread out, ready, like you want to do no. more? Like, listen, no. like he has his own place. It's a nice place. No. He's a cook. Like, no. he could cook. No. <laughs> I'm not after, doing, no. And then after, you're not going to stay. Like, he was He's kicking you. you out. No, yeah, he's because, kicking you out. No. No, he's going to be waiting for you downstairs. No. You can do that for a second date. You can do it any other time. But if we're talking about a first date, yeah. put in just a little bit of effort. Take her out for a drink, but do not take her to your place. And is he picking you up or are you driving to there? Or for are you meeting them there? For me personally, cada quien, um, I would say meet at wherever we're going to go. It's a safe out. That's it's safe. a safe out. It's a because safe out. Let's say, you know, we hit it off for a few minutes when we met, whatever. But then... I, I actually, yeah. Um. <laughs> no, no, no. Go with it. Go, go. No, okay. Like, honestly, okay. Yeah. Let me, let me tell you guys this. the story. Because I'll tell you I learned too. the hard way. Because I remember, like, you know, I, I kind of have, like a, like, a little more traditional mentality where it was like, oh, he better pick you up. He better do this. So one time this guy asked me out, and he picked me up and anything, and I wanted to go home so bad. Like, I was not vibing, and I was just like, fuck. I mean... You got to still stay respectful. I still had to wait it out. Yeah. And that's when I was like, you know what? In the day and age that we live in, respectfully, I'm going to meet you there if I'm not feeling that comfortable with you. And there's no problem with that, girls. Like, you can drive to the date. You can leave whenever you want. That's okay. 
I'm what, okay. You can what? use Uber back home too. It's true though, because you could always that's true. I could you could always say, "Hey, let's go on our first date." Blah blah blah. I think girls have it easier in that aspect to where the, girls can say, "Hey, uh, I can meet you for drinks, but I have plans with my friends yeah, after." That's fine. Your plans after can always change, right? If the date if the date is really good, you could always be like, "Hey." Yeah. I'm going to stay with stay. you. I'm going to stay. Know. Or be cool and be like, hey, I'm going to cancel the plans for you. But there was never plans. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's the point. That's the point. That's the point. That's the point. But girls have that easy out to where they can say, hey, let's go out for a drink or two. Because they, I mean, I feel like especially on the first date, girls have the power in that sense to where the date will go on as long as the girl wants the date to go on. You free think? food, free drinks. Why not? At, at least it should be. At least it should be. Okay, okay, yeah. At least it First should be. First date always, no matter what. The other couple of dates, también. All I'm saying is if he's inviting you out to hang out with you, okay, he should handle it. Facts. And if he can't handle it, then don't invite her. Baby girl. Facts. Baby girl. Right and it's not to be like, oh, a man, like, okay, after, después de que agarran tantita confianza, yeah. Yeah. okay, like, I have no problem saying, you know, Tacos on me or something. Yeah. I'll you let know? you buy me a like, taco, the, the you know? a burrito, <laughs> a coffee. Después de that, like after the first date, like I feel like if that date there lasts more than two hours, like it, it, it it's should going have somewhere. gone It should it, have gone it good. Went good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it should have gone good. Like if you go out to dinner and after dinner you end up at a bar with that person, I feel like it went good. Yeah. But if you end up, oh, well, I'm just going to go home because I have other plans or because X, Y, and Z, yeah. it, didn't do, it didn't go that, it didn't go that good. So, so, it depends on the, <clears throat> like, if, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Go for it. But if you have things to talk about, even when in the texting stage, if you're able to text or have phone calls over the phone for like more than fucking an hour, mm -hmm. there's potential. Yeah. And if you're hanging up after two minutes, pues valió verla. Yeah. You can feel it out. You don't, like, a phone call, a text, messages, whatever, will tell you what you need to know yeah. before actually going on the date. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll tell you a lot. So how do y'all go about meeting people nowadays? Because let's be real, that shit is hard <laughs> now. We're all single in here for a reason. I know, right? <laughs> Some of those DMs. You know what? DMing. Someone sent me today that... Going out with your boys is technically a date. We just don't say it. I think I sent it, that shit to you last time. <laughs> <laughs> There's this meme. Mean There's this meme that's literally like when you realize that you and your best friend are going out on dates. I was Dude, like, oh, that's shit. me and my girlfriend. That's so like, true. I mean, that's. <sighs> but to answer your question, how do you meet? Like, how do you yeah, guys meet? Like, how, Cause how do you peel me of a girl? How do you go about meeting guys? If I'm being honest, I don't like Christian Mingle. Christian Mingle. No. No. Farmers.com. I'm not thinking of <laughs> Farmers.com. No, but like, Yalla. honestly, and I wish I had the answer to that, but girlfriends, like, I just, I, I don't know. I, I, that is something, when I figure it out, I will let you guys know. But mm. as of right okay. now, okay, okay. Like, Some, it's rough out here in the wild, said, you know? I, right. It, because my guy just brought this up again. We're on TikTok Live. This is live TikTok stream. Live? This is we're. If you've seen this on YouTube and are listening to audio, we'll be on Twitch soon. Also. We're answering we're the live question. Yes. We, we got the setup now. But someone said a certain place, and this is my question now: Would you mind getting hit on, or guys, would you hit on a girl at the gym? Mm. <sighs> mm. Hey, hey. I don't know. I don't go to commercial gyms anymore, so. Oh. 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 He said, he said, I'm, <laughs> he said, I got money. He said, thank you, you motherfuckers. I, I'm with you because the I go to Pilates. It's all fem females, and I go to a run club. It's all females. <laughs> so, but. No, actually, because uh, running has been a new fad, uh, at least a lot more people have been getting into it. I know a lot of guys going to run clubs, even though they don't like running, they just go to meet people. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I'm not going to do that. I mean, I'm not going to do that. I don't do it. I don't want to. The person that I want to talk to is doing something exciting like running, then I'm going to 
like you already have bitch, stop lying. You're not <laughs> running. <laughs> As a, okay, but if he was, <laughs> bro, I'm gonna go you're not gonna go run. Buy some running shoes and at least go on one run. You're like, I'm gonna look the part. I'm gonna look the part, like, dude. I just started, man. We should go together. If she stays behind walking with you, she's the one. <laughs> Life hack. If she walks with you, if she walks with you, she won't want to. No, I think like as guys, we make that effort to just have something in common with someone we want to talk to. Like if I see you doing that and I have no interest in that or never been in that, you guys are really. Then I'm like, I've never gone there, but I'm gonna start going there. Just to have the opportunity. Yeah, like, I'm going to start going to the gym. Yeah, like, <laughs> even if it's not to, like, say, like, I don't want to sound like a psycho, but not to that. No, 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 I know. I'm going to go to somewhere similar. So I post about it, and then when you post about it, I'm going to message <laughs> you about it. That's really, like, really how hey. you feel, Disco? Huh? That's really how you feel? A similar coffee shop? <laughs> <laughs> if she's a nurse, I go to the hospital too, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get daily checkups. them. Well, no, actually, that's okay. a good spot. Okay, but then oh, off, off topic, that's a good spot. Going to coffee shops, I, like, I just realized that too. Coffee I, shop. Yeah, I recognize wow. that men will do almost like anything to get a girl's attention. But okay, then that takes me back. So if you don't know the girl, are you just going off her physical? Honestly, like you think she's pretty? Nice. That's it. That's I all think it that's takes? the first. That's I the think first that's the first scene. thing you yeah. actually see. I think I think it goes the same with females. Like, let's go. Let's be real. Like. Guys see a pretty face, and then females either see height or a decent-looking guy, height. and they're like, "All right, <laughs> let's fucking start talking." Because if you don't, but if you're not attracted to them guys. physically, <laughs> if you're not attracted to them physically, at least in the first stage, at least in the first, le- I'm like, I just met you stage. Yeah, like you ain't gonna waste your okay, time. Okay, so you gotta to exchange some words then. Of course, you have to. I'm. A, I'm. Of a, course, no. you listen. I, Men and women think so different. Like, if okay. I find you, so that's why I have to ask this question. <laughs> if it's a random, you're gonna go based off how they are, whether it's fat, short, or just how attractive oh, they are. Physically, let's be real. Physically, let's be real. Like that's gonna happen. If you just don't know them, it's a random person, whatever. But if you know them and they're your actual friends, then yeah, you're gonna go off personality. <laughs> Maybe if that they're not your type, it could be your type. I am shook. <laughs> You guys are, dude. It's facts, though. Like it's true. Yeah, it's it's true. true. I mean, tell me, tell me we're wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. In order for you to pay attention to a guy, he has to be attractive first. There has to be something. Yeah, exactly. You gotta find something something attractive. Something to catch your eye. Like you know, that's why, like, like media, like media. De la buena. What? I was like, what? Cuando hay un gordito, <laughs> pero tiene dinero y tiene oh, las, más, las más perras. But it's just That's like, true. again, it's either you have the looks or you have the money. But, I mean, to some guys, to Everybody's some people, different. You everybody's know, everybody's different. looking for something different when they're searching for a partner, whether it be looks, whether it be money, whether it be anything. What, okay? is, what is your guys' top three things you guys look for in a person before... I mean, I can't time. speak for all women, we'll speak okay? For Jack Jack, speak but speak I will for Jack speak for Jack Jack, and I will speak for the Jackinators. You know, Jackinators. <laughs> you guys. What are do I call my pepinos and shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call the Pepe stands the pepinos. I can't stand you guys. <laughs> the pepinonators. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the Jackinators. Yo. <laughs> What did we say? <laughs> 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 the got oh. me. <laughs> what is going on? It oh, got really hot in man. here. Oh, what is going on? Oh, we're too oh funny sometimes. God. I just can't. That camera's still good. Ah, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, I'm speaking for me. Yeah, for any girls three? who think like mm-hmm. me. Right, um, what was you. the question again? What do we look? What do top, I look for? Top three top things three? you look for in someone, bef- like when you're gonna either try okay. to date someone. Like, what are the top three things? I'm not even gonna lie. Physical attraction must be there. Of course. Also, confidence. What's, what's the physical attraction? Mm. Uh, for me, you know, you know, you know. You know. <laughs> we don't know. What That's the thing. Know. We want to see your point. For me, I don't. I don't think I have a type. Like I really don't. If you so, if you look at my so history, it like goes beard, from one no extreme beard, to the other. Short, tall. Oh, I do love uh, taller than me. <laughs> okay, and I'm five three on a good day. 
but respectfully, five you know. I don't I don't want to look at some. Five and a half, you guys are good. Okay, with well, these boots, I'm like a five, 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 okay? We can get you. We can get some platforms. No, but. Just taller than me. All I'm saying is I don't want to look at you eye to eye, okay? I, for me, if it was in a perfect world, yo quiero verlo así. Quiero verlo así en el you know. Está bien alto. That's just for me personally. Um, I like I'm a little rough around the edges. Yeah, right? Si captamos. Si captan. Si captan. Si captan. Okay, what's the next trait? What's the next trait? Okay, trait? so obviously I'm not even going to front. Physical is of definitely important. Okay. Also, being confident Perfect. in anything. Stand your ground in anything that you are and do and say. Okay. Fake it till you make it if you have to. And then number three, um, I love somebody who can get my sense of humor. Who doesn't take anything too seriously? Like, it's happened before where like mm -hmm. I meet people, and then I'm like, oh, but then they start making me laugh. I'm like, you know what? You're not that bad. <laughs> like a, a sense of humor will just do it for me. Or you say a joke and they don't get it. I'm like, Come they say a joke and they don't get it. Yeah, like if I'm you're like, not bro, picking up my vibe, like if you're not on. matching my freak, <laughs> then no. Think of like uh, what Kai Sinatra said. He was like, what? if you can make a laugh and jiggle, then you can make that ass laugh and jiggle. <laughs> boys will be boys. <laughs> I've never oh, heard that quote. Shit. No, like, I, I think even Quotes like, to live by. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> All right. What about you, Jose? What about you, Jose? Okay. Yeah. Is, is, it, is, it, <laughs> is it valid? Power to you, girl. If it works for you, it works it for works you. It works for me. That's what it works for you. I that's all that matters. That's what works for me. I think that, like, first and foremost, the physical. Like, me personally, I don't know about my boys. Me personally, a nice smile and nice eyes. Okay. Those two things, physically wise, perfect. Like, I mean, I feel like I'm a good height, so I don't think I'm going to look up to anybody and shit. You know what I'm saying? But, like, even, I mean, slightly lower than me. Okay. Though, but if they're a lot lower than me, perfect. I'm chilling. <laughs> you, like, you like a short girl. I just love being tall. Like, like, you like, like feeling big. Built. 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 Not, not circumference-wise, no. but like just built. As a girl, like built. I love feeling tiny. Like I'm like, you know? So that's why I'm like, for you guys, is it like, yeah, I'm a big, strong a, man, you know? A nice smile, uh, nice eyes. And honestly, like the way if... Depending on where we're at, the way they carry themselves is definitely, like, the biggest thing. Okay. And honestly, the way if – I don't I don't think we're, we're not like that either way, but, like, the way we can just carry a conversation or the way you get – The when chemistry. You, yeah, like, when, whenever you get approached, like, how do you respond? How do you act? I mean, there's some that obviously we see it every day with, like, every time guys go out when there's certain ones that just – the way they act, and it's power to you. But I feel like you can't find a quote-unquote wifey in a bar, in a club. Like, you just can't. Like, you'll find a good time, I'm sure, but you won't find, like, that ride or die right there. Because, I mean, you're meeting people in a scenario where it's not. It's like, it's like that meme, like, you're not going to find the love of your life in Ola. <laughs> Like, <laughs> what are you telling me? No? He said, "What?" He shot. You know, you want to find the love of your life in whatever city you're at. You know, like it, it, it's just like, like that funny saying. Like you just, just got to be open minded and, and explore out of your own element. Like there's so much there's, more to it. There's like husband and wife material, and then there's not. And you just got to know it's the like, difference. You got you got to know where you're finding your that person. So you know? Yeah, like, you're, yeah. You're, you'll find a, a certain type of people at a club, and maybe it's the first time at a club, right? Like, or at a bar, like, oh, I really don't, uh, or that saying, like, oh, I usually don't go out here, I usually don't come here. Like, maybe they are telling the truth. Yeah. Like, maybe they don't actually come here. But also, you can put yourself in a better position and either going, I don't know, to the, the park, uh, coffee shops, um, I don't know, Whole Foods, like, that's Target. I don't know. Something I mean, like I, that. I feel like you have to have a conversation prior, like, to meeting someone. Mm -hmm. Like, we, again, if we talk about, like, how social media is very advanced, like, when you meet someone in person at a bar, at a club, or just outing, you're meeting someone in, in an environment where it's it has to be fun. And, you know, guys get denied, 
you know, girls shoot the shot, get free shit, whatever the case is, but guys try their best. But it's like, hey, like, you're not going to meet your ride or die here. To some, maybe they have. Mm -hmm. I'm not neglecting that. Some, maybe they have. Yeah, you never know, my boy. If you have, please comment down below. never know. Don't knock it. I know. Don't knock it. Are there still hopes? If if whoever listening in, whoever, like, listens to this segment, if you met your person at a bar, at a club, whatever, and tell us how long you've been again. Like, because, again, that's definitely, you know, one in a million. It happens. it, It happens. But I feel, personally, like, if I can't have a conversation with you prior like, again, social media, people f- following your for you page, you know, shooting your shot. It's not, nothing, not, nothing can go wrong besides a no reply. Or mm-hmm. a no. But, like, that's where, like, you can get a conversation going on. If everything goes good during those IG messages, you get their number. If everything goes good on that number, then, hey, let's go out. Like, we have went through stage one, stage two, stage three. All right, let's make it out. But if you can't make it out of stage one... Stage one being... Being DMing. DMing. Yeah. yeah. Stage two is getting the number and texting okay. and maybe calling every now and then. Okay. FaceTime to make sure it's not a, you know, it's not a catfish. You know, just in case. Hey, maybe you have to FaceTime because <laughs> apparently... You know, just, just in case... Honestly, it's, that, it's hard. Yeah, and then step three is making... Especially the arriba pa So after, st- after passing those three steps, that's when you decide, okay, I'm going to take this girl on a date. After step two. After step, step two. Step one is DMing, talking. Mm-hmm. Step... Step two is getting their phone number, talking on the phone, FaceTiming, if, if that's something they're into. Mm-hmm. And then from step two, it's that, hey, we should go out today. And again, as a guy, girls, I feel like girls love when you leave. Hey, let's go out today. Let's go. I have this, this plan. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, it's a surprise. I got this. Like, just go out. Just in, my head, in my head, I already planned for dinner, an outing after the dinner, and after that, dropping you off. That's it. Are you offering to pick her up? Mando. I think that's Mando. Mando. Yeah, like in me, if if we went through stage two, we really have a good we really have a good mm-hmm. like understanding. I, mean, I feel like that's a at least for me, like that's something I wanna find out if I can go in a car with you. Like same music and if mm. like you know me, I like I like being alone. Yeah, this is what so, he drives to he the same does. place and he drives without us. I, I like driving yeah. alone. Drive See, that's me. Same. That's me, but second date. Like, the first date, I want an easy out for me or her. Like, if I'm being respectful, like... So, but then does that mean you're going through step one and step two? Like he said? Because he said after step two. Yeah, but he goes... It just depends on how I'm meeting that person. Okay. Because he said I already went through... Step two is what? FaceTiming. FaceTiming, phone calls. Calls, yeah. yeah, like texting. Yeah. I mean, if I already went through that, then it's just one of those things where it's like, I'd rather have the first date in person and then talk in person as opposed to going through the whole, I'm going to FaceTime you, I'm going to message you for days, call you, like, let's just get it out of the way. Wait, so you're asking to go out before getting like the like I'm not like that? Or like you're doing it just like step one and two all in one? Step one, two all, all in one. Wow. You're right to the point. Like oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not, well, I'm not gonna waste like weeks at a time, like freaking talking to somebody <laughs> respectfully. Like, let's go on a date. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. That's why and you, know you how had to make an easy drinks. <laughs> I know. Hey, and it's either it works or it doesn't. And you, did, I don't waste two, three weeks of your time, and you didn't waste two, I, three weeks of my time. I did figure out too, well, like learning, like me personally, yeah, that the way. Being a machista or kind of like, a, oh, you want to hang out? Yeah, what do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. Fuck it. Whatever we do, let's just go do it. Oh, my God. That's like, the worst. You know, like, just understanding the maturity and, like, doing that for a person, whether you've been with them for X amount of time or a couple of weeks, like, they're going to show, like, no interest at one point because you're like, well, fuck, I'm doing it myself. And as a guy, it doesn't take us that much to basically just say, hey... Do you want you want to go out today? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay, what time are you available? Oh, at this time. All right, perfect. I got it. All right, here we like we're going. Oh, where should we go eat? Hey, what what do you want to eat? Um, I don't know. Maybe sushi. Okay, cool. I got it. Mm-hmm. Like I know where we're gonna go. Yeah. yeah. Instead of like, well, you pick a spot. I don't know. No, I like, I'll drive. Like I'll drive. <laughs> right. You pick. And it's like that's yeah. Like no. at, this, at the end of the day, whether you've been with someone for ten years or been with someone for ten days or ten months, you have to leave. As a man, as a man. You, as a man, you have to lead in every way, whether it's opening the door for them, whether it's paying the bill, whether it's 
um, standing on the street side instead of them being on the street side and when you're walking mm-hmm. on the sidewalk and opening doors for them, whether it's, like, say there's, like, a big crowd and it's, honestly, like, my head is, like, if there's a big crowd, instead of her going forward and I'm in the back, no, I'm going to go forward first. And clear the way for her. Make the yeah. way and yeah. then her with me. And if we get to the door, instead of me going first, hold on, let me back up, let her go first, and then I'll follow through. Yeah. And and honestly, like, whether you've been with someone for, whether it's the first date or 10 dates or whatever the case is, making her feel like she's present and making her feel like she's a part of that, like, giving her her place, whether you're together or not together, you got to give her her place. Yeah. Like, hey, oh, what's up? Like, again, going somewhere, yo, bro, what's up? How you doing? Boom. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is my person. Mm-hmm. Whether she is or not, hey, this is my person. It's this your person for the friend. night. This is Even if it's just for the night. Yeah. You were going to respect me. The worst respect. thing is um, not introducing them. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be like, oh, this is my date. This is my yeah. friend. Yeah. yeah. This is or my just not even the date. Just, hey, this is the name. This, yeah, this, this, this is their name. This is this person. Serious. Yeah. Yeah. Not that serious. Yeah. The way, you, the way it, that night ends, it's totally the way you carry yourself. But... At the end of the day, it's like a girl's going to remember how you made her feel when around other people. Maybe with when you're one-on-one, you make her feel special. But when you're around other people, you may be different. And I think that's like when your real that true colors lot. come out. Yeah. It's like, how are you when you're around other people? Yeah. That's going to make them feel, oh, man, all right, cool. I'm safe. I feel worthy. I feel present. I feel like I'm acknowledged. And definitely if you're in the first couple of dates or even if you're in 10 days later, never get trashed when you bring your person with you. Yeah. Because then if you get trashed, you can't take care of them. Yeah, I think, I think I one of the best compliments I got, like, trying, um, I guess, reinforcing the things that I'm doing right is they, they told me, oh, I get, to t- I get to shut off my brain when I'm around you. Girls like, love that. You, you, you just leave. Like, you got it. And I think that was the best thing that at least. Oh, I forgot my wallet. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, I know. ID. I know. I, know. <laughs> I hope you brought your ID. <laughs> no. Like, it's true because. Like, I want you to shut your brain off. Like, let me handle it. And I like yes. that. And I want to do that too. And I think, when, like, a lot of times, maybe men can get it confused that, like, women don't need fancy dinners and fancy places and the most expensive thing on the menu. As long as the man has a plan. Take me wherever you want to go. Like, it does not matter. Just let me shut off my brain for a little bit and you handle it. It's what's what's that what's that quote? It's like it's not the it's not the place, it's the person. Yeah. Like we can go and sit down and see a view, but it's just I want to be around you. And making you feel that making you feel safe, love, acknowledged, and high praise. Like I think as guys, sometimes sometimes we just forget like we gotta give our person that whether you've been with again whether you've been with them for ten years, five years, a year, six months, a couple a couple weeks, you gotta give them that praise. You can't be very you can't be selfish and be like, well, you gotta be with me twenty four seven. I gotta see you every. No, no, no. Give them their time. Give them their space. Like yeah. you got a life, they got a life, yeah. and if you can intertwine that together, then dope. Yes. And if you got kids to get, if you got kids together, if you got kids separate. Like, hey, understand that the first priority is not you, it's the kid. And if it's you and not their kid, then there's something wrong there. And you got to pay attention to those those little details. Like, again, like if you had a person and you lost your way with them, hey, you got to acknowledge it. Again, there's different priorities bigger than you. Nowadays, a lot of people have kids. Nowadays, some of them don't have kids. You got to acknowledge who you have, what they have going on. Mm-hmm. And this is in high school. We're not talking twenty four seven. We're not seeing. We're not seeing each other twenty four seven, and if we're not talking about goals, aspirations, and what we're planning on the future individually, then what are we doing? I'm not here to be like, oh yeah, I want to get go out this weekend and get trashed. It sounds fun, but golly, I'm not living with my parents no more. Like, yeah, I got shit to I do. I got bills to pay. I got bills to pay. It's like, God, how did that? How did that topic come up? God, um, just I Someone just asked it in the chat. chat. Oh, we're talking about dates. We're talking about dates, but chat, what's the next question that we're going to talk about for the next 30 well, minutes? Wait, well, wait, because we were talking about something on live. We were talking about going 50-50 and about paying. What about, yeah, we were. We were talking about that, and we didn't really get to finish. So who Putting pays? it on the black Amex card. And if they don't have a <laughs> black Amex card, next. Next. Okay. Like the, next. The waiter's coming. Look at the person. Hey, am I going to get some today? Uh, no. 
Split it. Split, Split it. it. Half and half. It's like relax. You're at an Applebee's. Not on the first date. <laughs> we got the two for 25. <laughs> they have a free pass on the first date, though, because I don't... Me oh, personally? No. Me personally. What? I don't like it when they put out on the first date. What do you mean? Like they don't. When they put out on the first date. <laughs> I, I'm i just like, fuck, if they're putting out on the first date with me? They're doing How many other foods did they put out with? Oh, no. That is you see what I'm saying? Like, you see what I'm saying? I'm just like, now I'm seeing her completely different. No, no, no. And it just changes the whole the whole vibe. Now I'm like, all right, well, if she's willing to respectfully put out the, on the first day, and I'm like, yeah, well. All I'm saying, ladies, well, is, is if a man's that's trying all to I'm do whatever see. he would, wants to do with you on the first date, he's doing it with that's, Yeah, that's how I'm going to see it. first dates, okay? Exactly. See, that's and it works both it. ways. Yeah, yeah, it goes both ways. Like, ladies and gents, a first date with you doesn't mean it's a different date just because it's you. Nah, exactly. my girl. Nah, exactly. let's what see about it for you? what it is. What about you? What are your thoughts on females putting out on the first date? Does it change your Does it change your mind or does it change how you view them? This is just from a guy's perspective, right? Yeah, of course. That's what we want. Of course. I mean, hey, we said you we're answering. Say it's a safe space. Say, I said respectfully. You <laughs> said respectfully <laughs> but in front, and you're good. Um, I think. In my opinion, I believe it just it wait. It depends on how your first date went about and where you went. The conversations, the connection you had. Again, because we talked about two different steps, me and you. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about step one and step two, and then we get to step three. You've already built like a we already built that, and like first and foremost, it's like that one thing isn't the most important shit in the world. Because again, like we said you can get that mm-hmm. shit from everybody. Mm-hmm. You get it from yourself, mm-hmm. or you can find it from somebody else. <laughs> Hey, we're oh all fucking adults. God. We know it happens. God, I can. But I, you have to understand that, like, the energy that's putting put out during that time, if you're just giving it out to anybody, then the self respect isn't there no more. Exactly. And like, if the self respect isn't there, then, then I'm sorry, but you're not worth the high end shit that we're doing because I want to, I want to embrace that or live that with. The person that I want to spend my days with and time with, mm-hmm. whether the relationships work out or not, like I just know, like I'm spending it with someone that I know I'm, I'm not losing my time or my money with. Facts. And again, maybe you hit it off and it happens in the first night, but you got to mm-hmm. remind that person, hey, like this isn't this, this isn't what I want. I'm but normally not this easy. <laughs> No, I, I I agree with you. I agree with you. No, like, facts. Like way back when, like I way back when, this guy's like twenty. He's like twenty. He's like twenty. He's like twenty. Like I, I would back go on in my dates, day. and then that would that would happen, right? Like it it would just be like regular dates. But then one time, I was just decided to try. <laughs> I just oh, decided wow. to try the first day with Disney, and then I didn't expect nothing of it. Picked her up. You took her to Disney. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Oh. He's got money. Second day steakhouse. Bro, and nothing happened until maybe what, like maybe a month or two in, and but that was That's me good. trying exactly, and that was the longest relationship. You liked I had. her, like, yeah. You liked her, yeah, yeah. You but saw a future I with that person. Build, I also build a connection with them beforehand. Mm. Like, you on, saw through Social media, texting, and it, stuff like that. It's because like trying to pretend like you can't build a relationship, like a connection prior. It's like, bro, like who are you kidding? Like again, you can meet someone. You can meet someone in the bar tonight. Dope. But just know they're either you're gonna waste a hundred, two hundred bucks, and they're gonna leave without your number, or two, you're gonna get their number and they're never gonna reply, or three, y'all just don't fucking connect. I don't know. Respectfully, I never understood guys buying girls drinks, and that's it. I never understood. Can I buy three every drinks? Every but I, you, but I, I, I buy never everybody drinks. That. Well, I've never bought a girl drink. You know besides what? If they're not dating me, but other than that, never, and I don't want to. <laughs> you know what? That's something that I don't understand either. But I'm a lady. And yeah, you, you just get it. I just get it. <laughs> you just get it. So I'm looks. not complaining. Someone, someone had a good question. Uh, Moo Mama on TikTok. Moo Mama. Moo Mama. Mama on TikTok said, "What if you have a connection, but once you get in the sheets, it's a no go?" That's that's valid uh, too. Because that's, of because of important. the because of the physical. Like, it, say, like, there's say no, you, you, it was trash, respectfully. And then, oh, you, I see. You spend the night, you do your thing, but it, and, and it like, was a when, no. After you're done, you're just laying in bed, you're like, well, then it's one of those things where it's like, well, I mean, do you just cut the person? All right, so now do you cut the person off 
the first time or is there always room for improvement? Well, maybe improvement? if it's in so- something important you see what I'm for saying? them. Yeah. Then, yeah, it's like, I think it's I feel valid. like if I connected emotionally with them at, like, at a really good level and the sex is yeah. trash, I'm going to give it another chance. But if you did connect with them emotionally, then wouldn't that um, go within in the sheets too? Like, you need to connect with them too. Like, yeah, having sex is having sex, but then just having sex emotionally is different too as well. Like, if you actually Facts. connected with them just talking then hopefully you would connect with them and like me personally too. like i'm not like we've mentioned it prior like physical touch ain't like at the top of my priority it's not at the top of my list mm-hmm. yeah. so like i don't mind it like all right cool we connected at a really good emotional level and you like fulfill other needs in my life but the sex is trash we can we can always work at it we can always get better mm-hmm. like the point is is like we can i feel like we can always improve right i'm not going to dump you just because it was bad the first time. But like, if go for it, go go side, go. Like as a guy, if you really care about this person, or you really attracted to this person, you really like kind of invested into her. Like you, you have to know her wants and needs. Like there has to be like a kind of a moment, kind of leading up, and like you have to be in me as a guy. Like you have go to be it. in tune with yourself in order to fulfill somebody else's needs. See, but. This person literally just said, "If but that's you connect, girl, that's a girl perspective. As just, a guy, we're just like, if this girl didn't fulfill my needs, but I'm already emotionally invested into this person, man, we can we can work. We can work, work on it. it. I would be willing to work it out. But as a girl, it may be different. We're like, damn, I really like this guy, but my ex did it better. Well, well the, yeah, there's a difference in either emotional connection or it just sucks playing out, like." Like it's just, it's just, there's a difference. Wait, but do we think guys can can stay even though that part is needs work compared to girls where if they don't get fulfilled? I, like, I mean, it's, it's how I said. If the, girl, there's, you're obviously going to... If you don't get it from them, you'll get it from somebody else. I think it's, it goes the same for women. If there's more emotional investment, they're willing to look... Work on it. Work on it. I, I think so because it's like tell me what I can improve. Tell me what uh, I'll tell you what you should improve. In general, on. like just tell a, me what I can get better at. Give me the just like card. you guys, like if a woman really yeah. likes a guy, like they'll oversee a lot of things. Like <laughs> trust me, it'll be like oh well, it's not that bad, or like you know you're it's talking yourself bad. out of that, out of it, or something. If a woman really, really likes a guy and wants to get to know him, of course, uh, maybe but, because I'm in my twenties, I don't know. I, I just can't. <laughs> like no, nah. he said you'd be nah. like nah if it's trash, I'm out. But yeah. that it just depends how like how great how good is the connection? Is it that good that I'm like all right? If the rest I'm is good, I'm willing to work on it. Yeah, you know, because exactly. you have to pick your battles. Not everything's gonna be perfect in any relationship. You have to pick yeah, obviously what you want to battle with, and if that's something you want to battle with, it's obviously it's valid. it's one of those things where it's like if it keeps sucking though, then fuck, uh, maybe move on. You but know? you know what's funny <laughs> is when you first read that question, the way I interpreted it was um, like after that happened. He changed. You know what I mean? And I feel like that happens a lot with Ooh. men that they get what they want. Once they get it. And then it's they like. They change. They change. And that's that's how I understood the question when he first read it. Why? Uh, okay. I mean, are you? is it just because they're after one thing? <laughs> Honestly. There's people you see. Like, what, what I'm basically trying to say is, like, will a man fake it until he gets what he wants, and then it'll be like, all right. Or what is it? Personally, no. no? Me, personally, no. You got to know the get down. Like, I, now, what, what is now, the get no. down? <laughs> no, Me, like, personally, you'll, you'll no. see a guy's real intentions off the rip. I, how we've been talking about the last 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Where he takes you on the first time you're meeting is very important. If I'm taking you on a on the high end date, nice dinner, you know, I'm investing my time and everything into you, then you should know I'm I'm for you. Mm-hmm. But if a guy is only hitting you up at X amount of time and telling you to come over and then he's not gonna be seen outside with you. Oh well see that's different. That's different. Yeah, I feel like, like any everybody knows mm-hmm. I like a one AM, two AM text. You, yeah. well, everybody yeah, knows what that means. Obvious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the intentions are clear. Yes. Yeah, but, like, I mean, there's guys that's, that are still on that power to you. They don't want to see marriage. They want to see relationship. They want to have fun. Don't mm-hmm. risk. Same thing mm-hmm. as girls. Go risk. Beg to you. Mm-hmm. Have fun. But when it comes down to having someone you can love day in and day out, 
no matter what happens, like that's your person. Like if you're gonna, if you know how valuable your time is in your life, and you're willing to give it with somebody, you know that person is very special. And if you know that person has limited time and she's giving it to you, you know something's going on. You yeah. know there's something real there. So whether you, whether you go out, whether you're in the bed together, whether you're just sitting with each other, whether you're just hanging out, like a guy knows. That's their person when you're willing or you're wanting to be out with each other throughout the day, throughout the morning, throughout the day, like the night. Like that's your person as a guy. As a girl, it may be a little different. It may be. I think like, it how takes. Do you, like how do you know that's your person? Like as a girl, how do you know this guy is, your, is for you? I think it takes longer than men. I think that women kind of just like see out the situation and it's like, well, let me feel out. Let me see what you know, a few dates, what brings out with him. But I think, honestly, it's just like when women see a man putting in the effort, because a woman knows, like, it's just, if you have to think about it, it's not it, baby girl. Like, if he's question, if he makes you question it, if he gets, if he gets you confused, if you're not sure where you stand, that's your answer. But women know when it's like, oh, this guy's putting in the effort. And it may not be perfect, but it's like he's going out of his way. He's doing all this. Like women know, oh, he's driving to see me. He's making time for me. He's, you know, checking up on me, fulfilling my needs, whether it's, you know, a call, a text. Like he's doing, he's reading my love language and he's doing it. Even though it might not be his, he's he's putting in the work. Yeah, like I, I feel like if he's spending hours on end, talking to you, checking in on you, you know, giving you stuff, making just sure you're okay with expectation of th- nothing in return. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you know, a guy that, like, that's when we know, hey, like, I'm into you. You know this. Know it's this. definitely that, the yeah. nothing in return. Like, I think, uh, oh, okay. I think who said, 50 Cent has a video out there, and he had said where it's like, my definition of love is when I'm in a friendship with a certain someone, and my happiness comes from the satisfaction of her being happy. Like, me, my happiness comes from me seeing her happy and her being okay. Like, that's why I know I love somebody when my joy comes from her being good, and her being happy. Like, that's when I know it's like, man, this shit real. Like, if she's good, then I'm good. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong. Like, I mean, like, my world can be on fire. But with her, and I'm perfect. She's happy. I have peace. I'm, it's perfection. I can handle everything else over here, but if a guy is into a girl and that's their person, he's going to change whatever ways he had that were negative, negatively affecting him, change it for that person so she can be good, happy, and have reassurance. I mean, sometimes, I mean, maybe I've been wrong, but I think girls need reassurance every now and then. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely. No. And I mean, that just goes, I think, you know, everybody has a different love language, but telling her, you know, how you feel, checking in on her. Absolutely. Women aren't just going to like, you can't just say it once and then expect it to go on forever. Like, oh, all right. I told you once. No, we're good. Reaffirming. Like you need to, you need to remind that person of, Whatever you're feeling, time and time, like, again, because, yeah, reassurance is, is key. It's very, very important. Wow. Yeah. Dating 101. Dating 101, Dating 101 from, from with the ATTL. From ATTL. all the single from crew. From all the single people. From all the single crew. <laughs> That's hey, wild, huh? We're giving dating okay, advice, but okay, we're all but single. Okay, but then let me ask you this. Like, Go, shoot. As, well, on the as, on the I just want to know. We're being pretty honest. Because you're like, okay, we were talking about first dates, right? Okay, go. What is something that a woman can do that'll be like immediately no? It gives you an ick. Oh, that what one's could, easy. You're out on a date. What does a woman do that you're just like, um, I can't, I'm out. That's it. I'm not going to text you. I anymore. mentioned it earlier that just being overly, how do I say it without sounding like an ass? You can say it. Just, just seeming overly thirsty. That's just like, that'll fucking off. That, that'll put me off so quick. It. That'll fucking put me off so quick. It's like, nah. I'm like good. to you, like, is she like, you know? Yeah. 
all like over super you flirty and shit. Like I'm saying, the first date, I don't want to, because I wanna, I actually wanna get to know you on the first date. Like I really do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it Pepe's real. A lover boy. Yeah, I'm gonna be cheesy as shit. I wanna get to know you on the first date. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when I said it, if you're willing to give it up that that quickly, it's like nah. Like I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want you. Like if anyone can have you, I don't want you. Okay. Like simple as that. It doesn't get easier than that. Okay. What about y'all? I think just being like. I, my personality is just weird, like just being so? annoying and cringe. What do you Define mean? annoying and cringe. Yeah, you what, what, annoying what is you know the people I, I don't like. Yeah. No, like, I know. I say like oh, we know. I know. We know. Oh, like those type of people. Like you just what annoying. is what is like one characteristic that just like I don't know. It's like what is he it hates pick me's. Oh, pick me. Yeah, he hates pick me. Let's just go with that. He hates pick me. I hate pick me. I hate people who are just like annoying, cringe, like uh, seeking the attention. That too. Yes, that too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, or like, oh, why me? Some like like that. Um, and people would like nick, like the okay. the puff bars, oh, dude. Okay. Wait, so that's he, he hates pick me. Yeah. He hates pick me. What about you? Me. What about you, Disc? Um, I think for me, is this more of a. When a girl's asking for something, I hate it. Like, I do the total opposite. If you're asking for a certain thing for me or to take you to a certain place, and oh, I'm just like more Like, right of off like, the bat. Right off the bat, I'm like, nah, I'm oh, good. Oh, I see. Yeah, like, I, it has to come from, from me to take you anywhere. Whether it's a movie, whether it's a dinner date, whether it's just to go out, hang out, coffee, whatever the fuck it is. It has to come from me. If you're over here telling me, well, we should do this, or we should do that, or you should take me here, then there's a reason why I haven't, I haven't told you. <laughs> like, don't be asking me when don't I... Don't tell me what to do. I want to decide what I want to do on my time. Yeah, yeah, or like, oh, well, you should be doing this, because if you really like me, you should be... Don't tell me what I should be doing, what I shouldn't be doing. Mm. I mean, if you wanted to, you would. I mean, <laughs> That's I, right. I should, but there's a reason why I'm not doing it. Mm. Be like... I have a lot of shit already going on, but for you to tell me to do this, to do it. I'll do it if I want to. And if I'm really doing it and I'm showing you, then you know I'm for you. And if I'm, if I'm not, just sorry. She should probably move on. Yeah. Probably move <laughs> on. Like, take the hint. Take the hint. Take the hint. Like, it, like someone's going to, like, if guys and girls, if you got to ask your person or the person you're interested in to do something be a certain way, show up for you, or take you certain somewhere that's not your person. If they wanted to, they would. Okay, I concur. Oh, to an extent. I that concur. Looks like, that looks like I to an extent. To an that's extent. My little hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I concur too. because I don't think that you know you can read each other's minds. I've said this before. Like if, but the thing is, if I tell you once and you decide to change it, perfect. You know, we're communicating. Yeah. But if I have to tell you once, twice three times to do something to change whatever like you're still doing it then you're still not doing it no pues ya valió madre. Well, like in the sense of like two like if they tell you oh why don't you make time for me <laughs> if, uh, girl Talk. girlfriends on, girl. if you want you have to, to ask him to make time for you you ain't a priority you are not a priority and, and like, my kings if you gotta ask a girl to make time to hang out with you she don't it want goes you vice versa don't want you, everyone don't want is busy you. but every Everyone has time. Everybody can make for time. what they want to do. That that's like the important thing that everybody has to remember. And like, si, si quisiera, no quisiera. We say it over and over yeah. and over. If he wanted to, he, he would. really would. Like guys and girls, bro. Like it, it's not that hard to to have a simple phone call, to no. have simple texts, to make plans. It's not that hard. It like maybe guys. I mean, some girls too. Like are delusional in the sense of like. Oh, she don't have time for me, but yeah, she's over there with her homegirls. No. <laughs> but then reverse, we're like, oh, you know, he's had a long week of work, but isn't he out with his boys at the bar right now? And you're here with us, and you're complaining about this? No. Well, if you wanted to, he would invite you. And if he really didn't want you, he, this is where you're yeah, at. He invite you. So it's just like, those are icks for me. What about yes. you? You what haven't said an ick. Yeah, what's For an me? ick? Oh, damn. damn. Yeah. An ick on All what? right, guys. Like first... Take notes. Take notes because you're getting it firsthand. <laughs> the female perspective. <laughs> the three motherfuckers Bye. next to me. Three motherfuckers. These no. three guys next to me. Icks. Oh, my God. I think. <laughs> I know. For real. No, I'm trying to think of like an ick right now. But I think if I'm out on a first date and you're being like rude 
to wherever we're going to like the wait stop or something like immediately i'm just like get out of my face it is disgusting Facts. i've had it happen to me before where i'm just like i'm embarrassed dude me da vergüenza ajena do you know who i am no, no your, mom, your mama don't know who you are my boy I like jesus christ oh, i don't even know who you are it's the worst it's the worst and then like, like they didn't even want to be here. Like, no, I know it's like damn, you're a pity date, and, and, and you act lot. like this. It tells you a lot about the person and how they treat yeah. other people and stuff. It's yeah. not just to the wait staff. Of course, it's, it goes to how they treat their friends, how they treat other people, and I'm and just possibly like, you too. Yeah, and possibly you too. I'm like immediately no. Right. Digamos que he's being nice, you know, right off the bat because it's like a first date or whatever, yeah. you know, quiere quedar bien. But at the end of the day, like the true colors will come out, and the true colors have already come out, you know. Yeah. in that scenario so it's just and it's it, a no it's just like the way they treat others is the way they're going to treat you or even to an extent the way you treat your loved ones yeah you know like your family your friends and i feel like if this is your person you want to bring them around them because you want to enjoy your time with them and with your person mm -hmm. and if your person is not respectful or someone that to get along with mm -hmm then, like, how can you even have that? You're going to separate yourself into two? two? I'm sorry, I can't. No. Like, I rather, I want you here with me and with the people I, I love and I'm around with. And if you can't hang out with them or you can't just see, then I'm sorry, but these people that I've been around with for a long time, a big part of my life, had the priority. And you just came in and you can't, then you're not for me. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. I'm going to choose the people I've been rocking with and they've been rocking with me than anybody else. Like, I'm very sorry to say, but these are my people. You don't. <laughs> these are my people. These are my these people. Are my we stop. People. Do we think we are toxic? I know. No, because I feel like I'm pretty transparent. I don't think I'm toxic. Like a little too transparent. Pretty open. Pretty yeah, open. no, 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 I'm not toxic. All I don't. People who say they're not toxic are toxic. toxic. Uh, <laughs> Coming from a toxic person. Oh my God, dude, it's so <laughs> exhausting. I think it's toxic tendencies to, to some, how you said, to some it may be toxic the way we are, the way we carry ourselves. But I mean, to us, it may be like, Life made me this way. I I carry the way I need to because this is the way I can function and be okay. Because if I don't function, then X, Y, and Z doesn't work or to get taken care of. So my toxic tendency is I'm going to choose myself. I'm sorry, but I'm really not. I got to choose myself. I got to protect myself. And if I allow you in, into my spaces because I generally want you to be in there, but if I don't, <laughs> he literally sneezed to his own bullshit. <laughs> he sneezed to his own bullshit. <laughs> you were the only one talking, my boy. Oh, no. oh man. <laughs> to some people, we're good. To some, we're not. Yeah. And it's cool. We're, we're not meant to be for everybody. I mean, maybe that's why we're fucking single, but. Anyway, um, Nobody wants us. I, I don't, we're I for don't, nobody. I don't think it. I don't think crazy. any so of us would. I'm not toxic. And I think just because it's so exhausting to me. It For is. me, being toxic means like always starting problems, always starting a fight, always having something to pick at. Dude, that no. is so exhausting. When I'm with my man, I want to have a good time. I want to feel good. I want to shut off my brain and I just want to relax. I'm with yeah. you because me hace sentir bien. But why on earth would I want to stir the pot just because I'm bored? Like, no. Some people do that. <laughs> Some just people do that I'm shit. They're like, no, 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 there's said. girls like that. And it's I'm like, just like, oh my God, it's so exhausting. Just keep it chill. Yeah. Keep it chill. Like, keep it chill. If you have a person that's busy and they come to you or you see each other after a week or two, whatever the, whatever the case is, mm -hmm. we don't want to fight. No. We don't want to argue. We don't want to talk about what I did last week because Facts. I didn't pay this attention. Like, I want to see you. I want to relax. I want to love you. I want you to love me. I want to enjoy our time together. It's like, I barely I mean, have time for you to begin with. And we haven't seen each other for two weeks. The last thing I need is to be spending the day arguing with you over petty shit. Oh, no. It's Bucket. exhausting. Bucket. Bucket. 
know. Let's enjoy the most out of the day because it's going to be, yeah. it's going to be another, it's going to be another, what, a week or two before I see you again? Si like, que, dude. Si que quería pelear, mejor me voy allá a la barra y peleo con, un, peleo de, con un desconocido. desconocido. Mejor peleo con uno de estos dos. Ah, putas, ¿o qué? ¿Quieres pelear? Vámonos. Pues afuera. Who do you think would win Him. in a match? Him. Fight, fight. Vale. Sure Puro, vale. Pónganse sure los guantes. A ver. ¿Para qué guantes? Nah, I think, I... Que, se de, que los demos y los desahoguemos. Pues sí, we're gonna do it right, do it right. Hombres. Pero después, we're hugging. Yeah, nah. I'm sorry, bro. I'm gonna let him. I love you. We'll love you. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be like Rocky my boy, and I'm just gonna hug you. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a toast of life. We no longer, we no longer have a, a host because now it's all mine. <laughs> I took it from it. <laughs> <laughs> so you, like, you may see a little black under my, my eye right now, but it's, don't worry. I'm going to call Come HR. On. I'm going to call HR. HR. Oh, my God. Are you guys, like, have you guys ever gotten in a fight? No. Oh, like, outside uh, of this? Yeah. Yeah, no, like, in general. Yeah. Have you guys ever yeah. gotten in a fight? Yeah, but. I think every man should. At least once. <laughs> every, every now and then. Once. Just, Just to keep things <laughs> interesting. <laughs> like, I think uh, now, like, in the position where it's just, like, in, like, there's no need for us to test our manhood with anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, right. if you think you're harder, better than... You probably are. You, you probably are. Ahead. Honestly, Go now ahead. it is. Mm -hmm. Like, you I can believe it. I don't care. Like, <laughs> oh, well, you did... Bro, excuse me. I'm sorry, dog. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey. Issue. Are we good? Yeah. Like, no? Good? All right. Deuces, I'm out. Like, I'm you still fucking what? leaving. Like, I'm not going to lose whatever it is we got going on because... Mm -hmm. Somebody decided to get in my face. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I know it's, it stands for, like, a good plot. And, oh, yeah, you're going to talk about it. But, you know, life is lifing and shit. You just never know nowadays. And I would hate to be a reason why if I get in a fight, my boys get in a fight, and then one of us gets really hurt. And then now that lands on me, yeah. and now yeah. I feel bad. Like, it's, like, it's really messed up, bro. But, like, we're one time we're out in at actually... In our favorite place in LA, one time, mm -hmm. and we had a great time. We walked out, and then there's people on the street getting down, fighting, and one of the dudes got like a bottle broken into his eye or whatever, that, and he was just bleeding. I'm like, bro, imagine if we would have just entertained this. Who would have? What one of us would have that happened to? And who knows, like the repercussions of it. Mm -hmm. it's like we can't. Like for me, we go out, we have fun. There's any issues? As long as we get home fine, perfect. First time we went out here in the IE, same thing, shit cracked off. That was hey, crazy. Hey, let's dude. go. Like, hey, everybody stay together, they just move. Like, we don't, we have no need to entertain this. We got more to lose. We have more to, to protect, and we have nothing to gain out of this. Like, because I beat this world doesn't mean I become a man. A man, a man comes from taking care of my responsibilities, not because I want to test you for your manhood. I don't need that. Like, if you think you're better, cool. That's fine. How, how you, probably are, you, you probably are, fool. You probably are, man. You probably are. Yeah, but I'm let you have this one. Confident king. Excuse me, let me move. Like, like that's it. It's like, I, dude, I'm short. I got, if something happens to me, I gotta leave it all out. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta prove myself. Like, come on. Yeah, it's just <sighs> life is just crazy, and again, you never know what someone may have do or what happens. My priority is. If we go out, my priority is us getting home. Mm -hmm. That's all I care about. That's all that I need. Other than that, we're good. Oh, that guy, that's good, bro. If, if you're not, like, in my face punching me, then, yeah, I'm going yeah. to defend myself. Right. But of course. Yeah. If you're just talking shit to me, like, cool, talk your shit. I don't mm -hmm. care. Like, I think, we're, I think we're all kind of the same. Like, we're just going to do it the most to, like, deflect anything, but... Hey, we're just not like that. Like, we don't we don't need to. I feel like we don't disrespect anybody. We carry ourselves to a good standard. We respect everybody. We respect the girls, the men, you know, the securities, the bartenders, whoever it is that's around. We respect everybody the same way. And we move good. We move correctly. To some people, having fun is very envious. And to us, that's okay. But, like, if you care about your circle, make sure everybody gets there. Make sure everybody gets home. Don't put anybody in a situation where, like, especially, like, 
If I mean, because this episode is all about dates, right? Especially you're out on a date, you want to test your manhood, and you got your girl yeah. with you. <laughs> on a Bro, first man, day, imagine. Imagine. Yeah. Crazy. You get to fight. What even like? What if it's not even like your first date? What if it's like three, four, and you're trying to test yeah. the manhood, and now your girl's getting beat up, or your girl gets punched? What are you doing now? But you can't do shit because now you're getting punched too. Yeah, that's crazy. Now you got to take care of one, two guys, or maybe just one, but your girls get beat up by their girls or her friends. Now what are you doing? So it's like, I got to, if I'm out with my friends and my person, I got to make sure we all get home. Yeah. Let's diffuse the situation or fucking dip. Yeah. As simple as that. Like, hey, let's come fuck down mm-hmm. respectfully. Like, are we good? Are we not good? Oh, we ain't? Cool, let's fucking go somewhere else. Nah, Question. What? Your man's getting down. What are you doing? I'm stepping away. That's none of my business. I'm not... I'm not, You're not jumping uh, in? I'm, hell no. She's like, this is a money maker. Absolutely not. She's like, this is a money like, maker. Okay, Fuck that. Okay, are you ustedes? Him, but I, I, it's always given like me. She's like, like look at my man. When a man tries to fight or like be like, oh, you know, what's that? Da, 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 da. Yeah. No. I think yeah. the ick is when like a girl's trying to hang... Pull back her mask. Yes. It's, it's like, it cringes me. And then it's so funny when the girl's pulling him back and it's like, well, she's not stronger than you. So no, why she's she not. Back? Go ahead and fight. We're going to fight. Involved. Fight. No, thank yeah. you. Like if, first of all, if a man's getting like in a fight, unless he's like defending himself, that's different. Yeah. If there was cause or whatever, yeah. then like, you know, you have to analyze the situation. But it's just, but if it's just because like, oh, this guy wants to get down and he's like, es peleonero. Yeah. Nah. If I'm stepping away, and this, this is probably the last time I'm hanging out If your with girls you. are getting down or getting into an argument, ready to fight, what are you guys doing? Getting ready to fight? His Let's fucking <laughs> dip. His hands are all gender, bro. <laughs> Come on now. Equal fights, equal rights, equal Jose fight, said. Equal right. fights, equal No, that's what Jose oh, said. Yeah. I didn't. I did not. I said, yo, said calm I did the not fuck down. That. And we're, like we're said, leaving. I'm short, but I'm strong. We're right. leaving. Oh, diffuse the situation. That's true. That's nah, true. I'd, I'd be like, yo. You know what the fuck you're doing. You know fucking better. Stop. That's like I no. talk to her as if she were a fucking child at that point. If you're willing to fucking fight somebody, it's there's like, no dude, need to ever there's no get need physical. to fight. Don't get physical. It's like, yo, ever. yo, what are you doing? Like you fucking ever. know better. Like, let's go. And, and if you're and if she wants to fucking get down, that's on her. Cause I literally was willing. I told you to stop. I'm gonna put my money on. Her. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'll be like this. Left jab, left jab. <laughs> no, it, bro, is this like pointers and shit from the side? <laughs> <laughs> not right there, not right there, Remy girl. Hit her with the chair. Hit her with the chair. Kick her leg. <laughs> Throw the cup. No. The sweep, the sweep. S- sweep the leg. Sweep the <laughs> leg. <laughs> Karate kid status. <laughs> nah, I'd be like, song wipes out, baby. No. Fucking <laughs> guy. <laughs> no, honestly, bro, I think. If, if my person is ready to fight, I'm just going to pick her up and just leave. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, out. it's like, yo, <laughs> fucking stop. I got no need for this shit. I like, gotta fucking go stop. Home. Let's One, leave. I don't want to deal with no cop. Two, I don't want to deal with no getting kicked out of anybody. And three, I don't want to end up on TMZ for no reason. Fool, you ain't that okay. famous yet. For relax. No, okay, X. On TMZ. X. On X, there's some good fights on there. I watch nice. them all the time. What is it, World Star? It's like fight hoods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just... Yeah, I think the first time we're ever out here in IE, we seen someone get cracked with the cup, and that show was insane. And then we're all just there, like, wow. It's like, I've, then, I've been and seen in fights. That was one of, like, the hardest punches I've ever heard. That was insane. It was like, like, what rep is that? Yeah. It was that close. Mm. It was it was yeah. bad. Mm-hmm. And then and turned into a brawl. And then we just dip. I, I, Damn. Yeah, yeah. No. I'd win for sure. There's no. I'd win for sure. I mean, <laughs> I win for well, I mean, based on that, based on that. Well, based on that, then we should just end the podcast and get this over with. Based on that. Ah! Based on that. Ah! Based on that. Ah! Based on that ah! episode. Ah! Based, on that, ah! based on that. Based on that episode 170. 170 in the book. In the book. We did it one more time. Everybody on TikTok, you guys stuck around. We're at 22,000 likes, baby. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. 22,000 shots, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> on saying, Jose's wait, tab? Wait, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Jack Jack is saying yes to shots, but doesn't even drink. <laughs> She's going to do That's like shots insane. of water. Yo no tomo Guys, look, everybody in the chat, look at her Jamaica. That's been here for two episodes. No, that's her second one. That's her second one. 
Si ya saben cómo soy. Mira, you guys pueden be able to handle me. Si ya saben cómo me pongo, ¿para qué me invitan? Si ya saben cómo me pongo, ¿para qué me invitan? Yeah, Exacto. Look, everybody has their preferences in life on what helps them. Sí. To each their own. To each their own. Each their own. Si te, mira, si te molesta, no va a ver. A mí yo ando bien. I don't get bothered easily. I'm chilling. He said I'm chilling. It was really, I'm it was chilling. Like your drinks were delicious though. Yeah, chilling. that was really delicious. No. <laughs> That's her second one. That's I why just want to show you how, how much how delicious that is. Que la plática estaba buena. No, es que hey, no, es que la you. no, no para la próxima vez, hey, ever, puro shots If a girl ever disrespects you like that, Quit Leave playing. Her, her, hey, Jose, 22,000 All I'm going to say is 22, advice. 22,000 shots. King, look, this advice. Is, this is a real, the real, real shit. I'm going to say some real shit, shit right now, too. King, make sure you respect yourself and don't let no girl walk over you. Oh, my Damn. God. Damn. I'm going to be honest. I was just going to keep it chill. <laughs> if you're going to ask Jack-Jack on a date, don't fucking invite her out for drinks because clearly <laughs> she don't drink no fucking alcohol. Invite her out to get to drink some water. <laughs> invite her on a little... It's not that serious. Next time Jose is making tacos, what? Yeah. Cooking yeah. with Jose. I'm on the grill. I'm making steaks for some Damn. ribeyes. I Cooking different, with Jose. I, I, I definitely went a different that. route. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, know what I was like, dude, what the fuck? I went a different route. Yeah. yeah. Just save your, save, save your money, buy her a water bottle, <laughs> and take her out for tacos. You good. King, save your money. Don't take a girl out. Take your boys out. <laughs> save your money, King. Or that. Or that. I'm the like, more boys you get, the I more say? rounds you get, because they're each getting a round. <laughs> Minimum three drinks. Oh, right who, here. You, who oh do you take God. out on a date, my boys? My boys. <laughs> what? Oh, like what about a night to my boys? Oh, what if like a night to hang out, my boys? So we're going to Fleming's today. <laughs> we're going to Javier's, baby. Oh, oh, oh. little little pepino margarita. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, <laughs> and <laughs> that's a wrap. Ladies. That's a wrap. Everybody on TikTok Live, everybody on YouTube, Instagram, we appreciate you. We love you. For all the Pepino, <laughs> <laughs> for all the Pepino lovers, <laughs> for all the Jackinators, the Pepino Naders. <laughs> and the Pepino Naders. <laughs> no, the Pepino. the Pepinos. See y'all. See y'all next week. We'll see y'all next time. Let's Bye. go.